Today is July 13, 2000, and today we start clearing the lot for the senior center. July 20th, the year 2000. As you can see, the property is, trees are all chipped, the property is being cleared. This is where the driver is going in. Today is July 30th, 2000. I was standing here last week on the top of the hill and now it's um, been cleared down. This is the driveway. Here we are, October 20th, 2000. Part of the foundation. Today is December 2nd, 2000. And you can see they're coming along. Our rock pile is gloom. from the ledge just above it. Today is December 16th, 2000. December 16th. Today is January 25th, 2001.
Today is February 19th, 2001. This is Georgia Jones, who is the chairman of the Norfolk Council on Aging and a member of the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging. Uh, I'm Richard Connors. I'm vice chairman of the Norfolk Council on Aging and also a member of the Friends Norfolk Council on Aging. And what we have had happen here is we're going to show you our senior center. We finally, after many, many years, and uh, Georgia was involved far before I was, uh, to bring this into fruition. The town has come through with a building that we're very, very, very proud of. And we expect that we'll be in within a couple of months. And you'll see when you go inside what the in interior looks like. The difference here is that the building comes from the taxes, taxpayers who voted twice to have a lot money allotted to build a building. The inside, all of the furnishings are going to be provided by the friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging. They've been saving money over the years, plus they've come up with new programs ranging from selling coffee at the town meeting to the tree of friends that you will see inside. And George has been involved in, in these types of things over the years, and now we're going to finally find a way to spend the money that's going to be beneficial to the seniors of the town of Norfolk, and we're very, very proud. There's some folks that we want to thank, and one, of course, is Paul Gurton from the Norfolk uh, Cable T uh, Community TV, TV, so that he, we can visually show you what's going on with our beautiful senior center. Uh, Butch Vito and his folks who just left here that are doing the outside work and the septic systems and all the things that are required, and he has been, and his folks have been super cooperative to help us out. Uh, the Permanent Building Committee, who is responsible for the building. The Council on Aging does not have say in how the building is built. Bob Nicodemus is the architect. He's drawn up the plans. He's uh, supervised the building. The Permanent Building Committee is the boss on how this all goes. So we really appreciate all of their help. Most of the folks that have worked here are amazed how well this is coming out. Uh, we are especially thankful to the taxpayers of Norfolk who pitched in, allowed us to get some money from the town to do this, uh, and the folks that have contributed to the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging. It's really amazing, which Ruth the Masterson, who is the president, will explain to you. It's amazing the backing that we have had. And uh, it's a tribute to Georgia, who and yes, the folks. Yes, we did in the past. Yep. The have... backing that we've had in the past, yep. Richard, for 20 years, we've been dreaming of something as beautiful as this will be. And uh, there have been fashion shows by someone that you love dearly, yep. and many, many fundraisers have been done, dinners and every kind of thing to raise the money to be added to whatever we could garner to, to do the building. And as Richard has explained, it will do the, we do have to do the furnishings completely. We have to rely on these friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging, as he said with Ruth Masterson and uh, Joan LaRusso and Nancy Arnold and um, Dave, Richardson. Dave Richardson is vice president of the Friends. And we are very grateful to that group. Uh, John Evans was chairman before I was. I was on the study committee to start this whole procedure. And we have been at least eight years in coming to where we are now. And we're very, very pleased, as Richard said, with the town's support in every, in, in every manner. Well, we have decided as a symbol of uh, the unity and the, of, for the town to put this building together and for the furnishing of the building. We have come up with a rock that was part of the foundation. And Butch and his uh, folks came up with this rock, which we have now decided that we're just going to uh, leave it exactly where it is. We're going to have beautiful flowers around it. It'll be part of this parking lot when it's done. Uh, so it's. We believe that it shows us the stability and the support of the town. That's the way we look at this rock. This is a very informal tour that we're going to take of the facility. And as you'll see, there's a lot of work yet to be done. Uh, we're probably a couple of months away from uh, getting occupancy. But behind all of this, there is a building committee that's comprised of the Council on Aging and the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging. And 
the onerous task of being the chairman has fallen upon Debbie Owens, who has done a fantastic job in uh, keeping, it, keeping the committee together. And you'll see all the things that she's done uh, to make this a truly beautiful senior center. So it's, Debbie Owens is the chairperson. Uh, Harriet Fisher is a member. Uh, Norma Shruhan, who was the director of the Council on Aging, is a member. I'm a member. And from the Friends, we have uh, Ruth Masterson, who, of course, uh, has all the financial dealings because they're the financial support group of the Council on Aging and of this building. OK, now we've moved from the outside of the building to the interior. Again, this is an informal uh, look-see at the building in its present state. And the idea is so that everybody that's contributed one way or another or is just uh, questioning how it's coming, this will show them what the progress is. We have a couple more months to go. And as I mentioned outside, we have a building committee. And the building committee chairperson is Debbie Owen. And I'd like to introduce Debbie, and she'll introduce the folks on her committee. Hi, I'm Debbie Owen. And the rest of the committee is Harriet Fisher, Norma Shruin, who is the executive director of the Council on Aging, and Ruth Matheson, who is the president of the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging. And Richard Connors. I'm sorry, I thought Richard It's tough to be the only man on this committee. I've got to tell you, this is tough. We love having Richard on the committee. But he loves it. <laughs> so if we start taking you on a tour now of the building, uh, you are standing, or we are standing in the reception area. And we expect to have a reception desk here with a transaction top. So when people come in the front door, they'll be greeted by the receptionist immediately. They can sign in. They can sign up for activities. Now walking toward you, we're moving toward the executive director's office and the health room. So Norma Shruin is going to talk with you about that. But I forgot to show you the rug. Should I <laughs> do that now? This is the carpeting that will be in the reception area. Okay? No, I'm like, mm -hmm. should want to show them all the way? Oh, okay. this is the uh, director's office. Oh, can I go into reception? <laughs> and I also have a sample of the rug. It's an aqua blue that will go along with the wall. But it's, it's a white with a slight blue into it. And we were very fortunate to receive a grant um, from the Denham Institute for Saving to furnish the office. So we're very pleased about that. And and I have to thank them very much. How do you expect your office to be furnished? Norma? Well, I'm standing on the desk. <laughs> the desk will be here and um, the return here with the computer and um, a one chair and then in the corner um, two chairs and a, and a table. Okay. Okay. That's great. You want to talk about, I oh know, you'll talk about activities later once we get into the great room. And so okay. you can follow us and we'll go into the health screening room. And in here um, will be a, the office for our two outreach workers and the local visiting nurses um, will do their screening here and the foot doctor and um, we, we also um, have access to a bathroom for the health screening. And we have a sink. We have a sink. And again, we expect to furnish this with a desk for the outreach worker and Computer. some kind of chair or lounge for people when they're having their feet done or screening or if they're not feeling well, right? Okay. Thank you, Norma. Now, continue on. We will have our photocopy machine and that kind of machinery in this little alcove area. And then continuing on through the reception area, we have the elevator that will go down to the lower level. And in the future, the lower level, we expect to be finished and have other activities downstairs. But Ruth is going to tell you what's going to happen on this wall. And this is a very important wall for
for all of us, and she'll explain why. If some of you may remember, I was on television down about in January or February, and I was trying to explain to you the tree. This is, I have that same picture with me. This is the tree. This wall over here is where the tree is going to go. Friends, tree of friends. The tree of friends, the tree of friends. It's going on that wall. Now, I have a diagram of it, but it, I didn't have the proper tape to put it on that wall. So, Paul, I put it over here. If you can swing around. That's how, that's how big the tree's gonna be. It's a little over six feet tall, and it's seven and a half feet long. These are all going to be clusters of leaves. They're gonna be silver, gold, and bronze. It is all bronze cast iron. This, these items down here on the bottom are the stones. They're called foundation stones. Now, thank you to all you people who have paid donations to this tree. We have been doing well with it. We have 15 acorns. We're not selling any more acorns. Instead of selling acorns, we're replacing the acorn with this smaller stone for the same price of the acorn, which is $400. We also have this medium-sized stone. We have 15 of those stones sold. So you see we're gonna have a lot of stones down here, and it's gonna be a foundation. Of course, it's all gonna be on that wall, so it'll look quite different. The tilting stone, this is a tilting stone. You can see when you look at it, it's shining up at you, so it's gonna be very easy to read that inscription on those tilting stones. But we thank all the people who have so far made their donations for this tree. There are lots of leaves left, so if you still want to get in on it, we'd be happy to have you take part in it. Thank you very much. Ruth, can you give us an example or two of what people are inscribing on the stones <coughs> or on the leaves so that will give people a better idea as to what we're doing? Sure, I can. We have, uh, we have a whole lot of inscriptions. Some people are just putting their family name, like the Kelly name, the Carson, the, the Kelly family, the Carson family, the Shrewhan family. Some people are putting in memory of somebody. Other people are putting in honor of somebody who is still living. We have a happy 100th birthday. We have um, Bill and Nancy Howell. We have Jack and Jackie McFeely. We have the uh, James H. Delaney and Son Funeral Home. We have R.J. Ross. We have um, CVS Pharmacy. We have Roach Brothers. We have the... Um, we have Marigold Gardens. We, we have, have Marigold Gardens. Up on King Street. Yes, and we have George, in honor of Georgia Jones. <laughs> no, that was Marigold Gardens. And we have the best is yet to come, Walt and Jackie Darling. Okay, so we have a lot of memorials. We have a lot, a lot of memorials, of family, and we have tributes. a lot. We have a lot of just family names. So it could be whatever people think is appropriate. Whatever you whatever want, you want in memory of loved ones. Sure. Richard Wood, Paul C. Chumi, just his name, Paul C. Chumi. Whatever you think you would like to have, Kay and Dick Nelson and family, George and Shirley Crowen. Okay, thank you. You're thank all. You, Ruth. I could go on forever. Nobody wants me to do that. What, what I was saying outside about uh, Ruth and the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging, which, by the way, all of us are members of, but she's the president. She's Since she took over uh, as president, how long ago was that? A year? A year and a half. A year and a half. Um, she's put us all to work with uh, selling coffee and uh, cookies <laughs> and sandwiches at the town meeting, which is held on Saturdays now. We've had bake sales at the train station. Uh, <laughs> so she, you can see, yeah. So and we're going to be at the uh, Norfolk Community Norfolk Day, Community, uh, Day again, 16th, which we were there last fields. year. And we have, a, we have some dolls and things to auction off and some raffle, great things for the kids. And we have a bake sale going again. And all the way up to, uh, you know, the tree. So she and her organization that we mentioned outside, they've just done a terrific job in support of this, uh, this building. Uh, and without her, we would have to go back to the town and ask them for funding. Because of the efforts that she and her organization have put together, we are plan not planning to go back to the town. We're seeking grants, and uh, of course, every time that someone buys with, uh, something for the tree, 
it's a plus towards doing something more in the building. I think everyone will be pleasantly surprised, and we are, we're going to owe them a great deal of thank yous. And we <coughs> discussed outside because I didn't hear what you said. It was that, good. No. <laughs> <laughs> that all the furnishings are yes. being yes. provided we by the that. friends of the county. Sure. No, you can't clear. say it often enough. We it's we true. It very clear. Well, as, as you go through the building, you see it's very, it's very empty. The building, the building is very empty. So, of course, there's a lot of things that have to come into this building. Everything. The kitchen, everything had to be everything, everything has to come into this kitchen. Company. Everything has to come into the building, so. And not but we're having fun doing it. We and not to toot our own horn, but under uh, Debbie's tutelage, we've put in a lot of hours and time, the whole group. <laughs> Uh, We're paying them double time for something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've been, we've been uh, to Boston. We've been to other senior centers that uh, Debbie has come up with. Stoughton, uh, Rentham, Plainville, Plainville you all wanna, over the place you to get ideas. see my whip? <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we continue on okay. with that? I don't want to embarrass you, but that's it's true. <laughs> okay, true. we're going to go this way, Paul, and down the corridor. Of course, we have a coat closet here, and then we have the uh, restrooms, and the men's room is here, and it's already tiled, so if you want to step in and see the colors of the tile. And all of the flooring, the tiling and the carpeting, we uh, hired McDonald's flooring right in Norfolk to do all of that work. So that's Mark McDonald's company in Norfolk. Um, okay. And further down the hall, we have the women's room. And again, the flooring has been done. The friends are planning on installing uh, wall border at the top um, in each room to sort of help coordinate this and make it a little more homey looking. Um, the toilet fixtures will be going in probably in a week or two now that the flooring is done. Coming back down the hallway, we'll go into the great room. And Norma, do you want to follow me into the great room? Why don't we all go to the great room? Yes. <laughs> and this is the great room, which I'll have not going to talk about in a minute. This is our kitchen. And as you, well, there's a big echo in here. The, um, I just walked through what will be a pass-through in the future. And we'll have cabinets built on either side of the pass-through. And on the dining room side, the wood is this shade. And all the cabinets are being made by Roy Hamlin's company, Hamlin Cabinet of Norfolk. And they are busy putting all of that together for us. In the kitchen, you can see the tile flooring is down. And due to health code, uh, we're required to have five different sinks in the kitchen, so that takes up a lot of the space. We'll have a dirty dish table with a sink over here and the dishwasher. Then we'll have the clean dishes coming out of the dishwasher. Then we have to have a three-bay sink in order to clean pots and pans. You have to rinse them, you have to wash them, and you have to sanitize them. And then in the corner, we will have a hand sink. Along this wall, we'll have a freezer and a refrigerator, which was donated to us by Southwood Hospital. And then over here, we'll have a convection oven and a range with a griddle. And in the middle of the floor, there will be a, um, what do you call it? A counter. Island. An island, thank you, an island with stainless steel top. So that will complete the kitchen. Now we come back out through the pass through right now into the great room. And Norma, why don't you tell us what's going to be happening in the great room? Well, some of the programs that we're, we will be having, um, all kinds of exercise programs from aerobic to um, arthritis uh, pro exercise programs. Um, 
We also have Tai Chi, and um, then we have um, our crafts, a quilting club. We have card games. Uh, our cribbage will be playing here. Um, whist, um, bridge. Um, and also, we will have five-day uh, hot lunches served here. Every in the meals and wheels will also come out of here. Um, we'll um, have our crafts. Uh, I, th I think I mentioned that other other clubs, uh, a, a men's club, which Richard <laughs> would like to have, and um, we'll have uh, support groups, and we'll also on our larger health health screenings will be down here, and all kinds of seminars on. Um, interesting topics that seniors would be interested in. Uh, like the flu clinic would be here because the health screening room would be too small to do that. So, um, well, so we, cur I'm currently sorry. you um, can only serve meals two days a week days because a you're week. down at the Federated Church. Right. Now right. you'll be up to five, five meals. Five days. Five days. Five days. Which is great. Mm -hmm. And obviously, um, there's a lot of activities taking place in this room. It'll be used to most, most of the day. It'll be used besides the, uh, the Council on Aging meeting that will be held here and uh, triad and um, the ride. The, the ride. <coughs> and we'll have the ride meetings, meetings here. Yeah, which all the senior acti activities. And, and the lively seniors. Will be so here. that Certainly. just shows us. And the friends, friends will be yeah. So it's going to be a busy, we expect it to be a busy spot. Busy and. Um, that's why we really need the lower level. True. Is because there is so much activity. I mean, we'll have tables set up for luncheon every day, but we'll have to move them aside and use them for crafts and, and do the exercise as well. So it's going to be a little too busy at times, perhaps. And one of the things we're looking for is input from uh, any, anybody as to other senior programs that they may be interested in that we haven't thought of. So anybody that has any thoughts as to senior programs that would fit into the complex here would be more than happy to entertain perhaps uh, uh, implementing them into our schedule. One of the things we should mention, and I, I go to us, we have had the ADA committee uh, go through this whole building, work with us to make sure that it's totally ADA compliant and usable because that's very key to us. The Federated Church, uh, thanks to letting us use it, has, has been great, except it's not handicap accessible. And we want to add more people, as you can well imagine, and that way we can involve those people and have programs that they might be interested in that we haven't thought about. Something that I neglected to mention is the painting is in progress, and that is being done by yet another Norfolk resident named Dennis O'Keefe. Um, at the other end of the room here, we plan to put an entertainment center. And we'll be down along this wall, and it will tie in with the same color as the cabinet, and it will house um, television and music, and also microphones um, and devices for the hearing impaired so that they can uh, take part in the programs as well and, and hear us uh, better than they messing that up, better than they can without it. Um, okay, moving over here, we have a movable wall and it's usually uh, an accordion door that can shut off the great wall, the great wall from the library. And Richard is demonstrating what that looks like. Go ahead. 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 Go ahead show you the rug that's on the, going to be on this floor, which is a um, uh, nice tweed with quite a few different colors in it, which you know, is very cheerful looking, and especially when we get it by the lit windows over there, the windows. Um, there's going to be the small organ that we own. It's going to be in this area, um, and which will make it very nice 
for if we have something large here, we can just move the organ just a little bit and the people can do line dancing or whatever is going to be happening over there, or for sing-alongs. Anyway, um, we have a large bookcase, which will go here, and I love to read, so that's why this is my favorite spot. <laughs> um, and then there'll be uh, comfortable chairs on either side, and perhaps a coffee table. So this will be sort of a nice section in itself. Then we go over here. It basically has four sections of activity and a quiet activity. And it basically, um, the computer center is going to be here with three computer um, computers. And so that will help seniors be in touch with the outside world and be a form of education as well as the books are. Over here, it's going to be a laid back circle of probably about five chairs with a interesting table in the middle. We're working on finding some of, working on what the chairs will be and what the interesting table will be. It will be a quiet conversation center uh, and people will be able to see who's coming and going and um, the outside world, the weather, all kinds of topics other than that will be discussed, I'm sure. <clears throat> this area is going to be a sort of a game area where people will be able to play um, Scrabble, do jigsaw puzzles, um, play cards, what have you. They uh, will probably pick up from the entertainment center over here, so it will be quite handy. And I think that will be it's great. I can't wait for it to happen. You, know, you can see everybody's enthused about this. We really are. It's going to be so great. So that that ends our tour. Norma, I mean Harriet mentioned the organ. We will. We also have a piano that will be in the great room, and eventually the door over there that is sort of bolted shut at the moment. We will have a deck off of that and be able to use the deck and also get out to the lawn area, which will be at the back of the building. Anything else on the floor? Well, the outside Anything? activities, we're, we're contemplating uh, Garden, putting, putting green, putting green. Pit, yeah. horseshoe pits, horseshoe pits, croquet, uh, maybe, garden, maybe croquet, bocce, lawn bocce. A memory walk and a garden. So we have a lot of ideas and a lot of plans, so, and we hope they come to fruition quickly. <laughs> and again, we, we invite anybody that's interested, our Council on Aging meetings are uh, open to anybody that would like to come and uh, they get an opportunity to speak. That's uh, the third Monday of the month yeah. at 9.30 in the morning. And Ruth's uh, organization, the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging meet. The third Wednesday. <clears throat> But this, at 7.30. But this month, it's the Except second Except this Wednesday. month, it's going to be January 13th, uh, June 13th, which is just next week. Right. And at that meeting, we have in the sweepstakes drawing. So that should be fun if anybody would like to come and see if they won on those sweepstakes tickets. And that's an open meeting. And that's uh, an open meeting. All the meetings have, are open. She has really uh, brought on a large contingent of folks that are members of the Friends of the Norfolk Council on Aging. It's an inexpensive thing to join, three dollars a person, five dollars a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, so anybody that wants to help out, you can see there's a lot of work to be done here. And it's a lot of fun. And it's yeah. a lot, yes, we, yeah, we really have had a good time with it. Had a great time. Yeah. And again, we thank you, Paul, for coming and uh, taking the tour with us and taking the pictures of all these lovely ladies. And I think that that wraps it up. Anybody so. else have anything they want to thank bring you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thanks, much, Paul. Paul. Thank you.